Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm giving you guys five stocks to look out for and buy in the month of October. Um, these stocks, I'm going to do a complete technical analysis over these stocks. First, we're going to look at the price point, the P.E. ratio, and then we're going to do a market analysis over these stocks to see when and what time should we get in and is it a good time to buy these stocks. In October, I see a couple of these stocks that we could swing trade to make us over 20 percent in just a single month if everything goes our way. Remember, I'm going to show you guys our stop loss, our take profit. So if you want to be a part of the technical analysis, make sure that you stick to the end of this video. But go ahead and head down and hit that subscribe button and when you hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell please hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss out on these future videos thank you for hitting that notification bell but before we dive into this video this video is brought to you by Weeble. sign up now by clicking the link down in the description deposit $100 and now you can receive two free stocks valued up to $1,850 with those two free stocks you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it or you could sell those two free stocks and withdraw all of your money it's literally free money also, I left a link to Moomoo down in the description. Right now, they have a great deal going on. If you sign up, deposit $100, you are guaranteed a $25 stock. Don't miss out on free money, guys. It's literally free money. Do the same thing. Keep it in the platform. Decide to use it or sell your free stock and withdraw your money. It's free money. It will help a lot of you guys start your small accounts. But enough talking. Let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back, dreamers. Here we are inside of my Robinhood account. I'm sitting at $70,833.06. Now, the first stock that we're going to look at is the, the, the agricultural Tesla of the world, and that is John Deere, ticker symbol DE. Okay, so Deere, they're not just a lawnmower um, agricultural company. They are actually more um, transitioning to the technology side to where you don't even have to have operators inside of their vehicles anymore to, to, to pick up all the corn and all of the farms across the nation. They are the leading, they are leading the industry when it comes to technology and agriculture when it comes to um, their vehicles. So Deere is, is, is almost a technology company compared to Tesla in the agricultural world. Now, I see Deere at a buy this month because this is, it is at a support level. I'm gonna go over that in the technical analysis, so make sure you stick to the end of the video. But right now, over the last year, Deere is up 58%, $126.95. But over the last month alone, we finally had the pullback that we was looking for. It's down 9.73% over the last month. And even if Deere just gained half a day in the month of October, we would be up 5%. Remember, just holding on to the stock for an entire year, um, a great profit would be 6 to 7% over the course of a year. Well, we could make that in a month if Deere do bounce off of this support level and start to trend up. Now, I do like Deere at this price point because uh, a couple of weeks ago, the P.E. ratio for Deere was around over 30 percent and i like to buy companies when the pe ratio is under 20 percent and they just hit under 20 percent on october 1st october 2nd something like that and if we go down they have a market cap of 106 billion dollars so it's a very large cap company that pe ratio is right where i like it to be right under 20 percent and you guys know they have a dividend yield of 1.05 percent so while they are trending down over the last month is near a support level i am going to show you in the technical analysis exactly what i mean now if you're looking for a company just like deer or similar to deer that has a better dividend we could go to Cat Caterpillar, okay? Ticker symbol C-A-T, Caterpillar. Everyone knows them. Those are the big yellow Tonka truck machines, um, crane operators, ditch diggers. That's Caterpillar. Their stock is moving similar to um, John Deere. They're up 35% over the last year and over the last month, they are down as well. But if you guys wanna pick up a company with a higher dividend yield, they have a dividend yield of 2.16%. Those are the first two stocks that I have on my list for October. Let's go ahead and move over to the third stock. Okay, now the third stock that we're going to look at is Delta Airlines, ticker symbol DAL. Unlike the last one that was trending down over the last month, Delta Airlines over the last month is trending up. And I would like to ride the wave. I would like to ride the trend 
of Delta Airlines trading up, especially now that they have finally broke above the 180 day uh, exponential moving average. Once again, I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what that is um late in the later part of this video when we do the technical analysis but yes over the last year delta airlines is up 53 percent but still over the last five years they still have not recovered from the pandemic in fact um one of their all-time highs was 58 dollars and right now we're seeing that 45 dollars so we still have a little bit of ways to go guys in order for them to completely recover from the pandemic and while the wave and while this trending back up i'm thinking on going getting in and riding the wave back up i'm gonna show you guys exactly what i mean in the later part of this video now delta airlines i do have six shares of i'm up 68 percent on delta airlines so i'm thinking about buying some more shares and swing trading it on the way back up over the next couple of months or so so this is delta airlines um, ticker symbol DAL, and this is the third stock that we're gonna be looking at. And the third stock we're gonna be looking at is NVIDIA, ticker symbol NVDA. I do have 1.2 shares of NVIDIA. I am up 100% on NVIDIA over the last year. They're up 56.79%. Over the last five years, they're up 1,106%. Now, over the last month, NVIDIA did have a pullback, and once again, this is the pullback that we have been looking for. Now, October 4th, um, when the market opens back up, it might not be the perfect time for us to enter on NVIDIA, but it is pulling back, and I do have a support level drawn out for NVIDIA that might be the perfect entry point for us to get. Now, I've been wanting to grab a, a, a NVIDIA for a while now, but it's just been too expensive. It's starting to pull back, and, but I think it's gonna pull back just a little bit more, and if you wanna know exactly when I get in on NVIDIA, I'm gonna leave a link down in the in the comment section to my patreon over there on my patreon you'll have access to my discord and over there i post every time i buy and sell stocks just last week i posted a trade on ada and we made a profit of 9.5 percent almost 10 percent so um if you guys want to be in on that i'm gonna leave that link down in the comment section but yes nvidia it's a stock to definitely have your eye on in October. If it hits the price point that we're looking for, we could get in for a good swing trade. And the last stock we're gonna be looking at is ticker symbol LUV. It's just like um, Delta Airlines. I forgot to mention that um, when I was talking about Delta Airlines, but um, LUV is another one we're gonna be looking at over the last five years, they're up 40%, and over the last year, they're up 50%. But instead of them not having recovered from the pandemic, they have recovered from the pandemic all the way back in 2020 and they just hit a major support level that I'm gonna go over in the technical analysis that you that I'm gonna do live so that you guys can possibly see exactly what I see and get in on this trade. So let's go ahead and dive into trading view so I can show you guys my trade setups. All right, YouTube, here we are over on Deer ticker symbol DE. This is the four hour chart. That means every bar on this chart represent four hours of the trading day. Now I already have some lines drew, drew out for DE. Now this is a major resistance level. It has a hard time breaking above the $384 price point. It touched once, two, three, four, five, six and seven times it has a hard time breaking above 387 ish dollars or so and then i drew out another line for the support um here goes it touched once two three four and five at the 335 dollar price point right now deer is at 342 and it's looking like the rsi is wanting to trend up as long as it doesn't use this line as a resistance line like it did right here in double top and pull back we could be on the way back up somewhere around the end of October, hopefully back around the $384 price point. Now, once again, we always wanna have more chance to make profit than we do to lose money. So if we was to draw out this next support level, which will be around here, our profit wanna outweigh our loss. So right here, if we measure it from 340 all the way up to um, 385 that is a profit of 15.31 percent and if we was to calculate our stop loss right here from 342 to 317 that is a loss of 4.77 percent so we have the the chance of gaining 15 percent or losing five percent it could go either way but we always want to have our stop loss set shorter than our margin of profit so so yes right now deer is at a major support level hopefully it breaks above the 100 
the the 200 EMA and trends all the way back up. If it hit 10%, we could take profit at sell half of our shares at 10%. If it reaches 15%, we could sell the rest of our shares at 15% and keep it moving. Now that is a, a nice gain for just one month. So let's move over to the next stock and that's gonna be Nvidia. Now I did say you do not have to jump into a video right now. This was the uptrend channel that Nvidia was trading in at the top of this channel, bottom, top, bottom, top right and now it just broke below the support line and hopefully nvidia could pull back to the 200 ema and i see this using this as the support line somewhere around in here so if nvidia pulls back in fact yeah let's hit an alert yeah so if nvidia do pull back to this price point right here or to the EMA, this might be a great opportunity for us to get in on the video. Once again, if you want to know when I buy NVIDIA, that is going to be down in the comment section to have access to the Discord. So that is NVIDIA. And pulling back to this price point would we'll put it near the golden ratio. And you all, and you guys all know I love the golden ratio. So let's move over to Delta Airlines. All right, so Delta Airlines, I've been tracking this for a while. As you guys know, I am in profit of Delta Airlines. Now it did break above the EMA. It came back and pulled and bounced off the EMA. That's a major support line and continued to trend up. So hopefully this was the bottom for um, Delta Airlines. As you guys can see a long time ago, <laughs> I put out the support level down here at um, $37. So it touched $37 once right here, again, again, and again. And it started to look like it's starting to trend back up because it broke out of its downtrend pattern right around there, started to trade sideways, and then finally broke above the EMA. Now it is inside the golden zone. Hopefully it breaks all the way back above and pull back to the $48.33 mark. And if you want to set a stop loss, it could be back down here at the support level of $39.03. So that's Delta Airlines. And the last one is um, Southwest Airlines, ticker symbol LUV. Once again, just like, South, uh, just like Delta Airlines, it broke above the EMA, had that little bounce, and it started to trend back up. So if you guys, it, it broke its downtrend pattern right here. We're not going to draw out the on Fibonacci sequence. So it broke this downtrend pattern and there's a support level right there. So I would set my stop loss a little bit below that and my take profit somewhere and my take profit somewhere around here in this area. So, so hopefully LUV continues to trend up as the holidays start to pull around and people and more people start to travel um, for the holidays. We could possibly make a lot of money from Delta Airlines and LUV. And there you go, Dreamers. That is the five stocks to look out for in October. Um, right now, there is at a good PE ratio. I do not see a problem with that. Hopefully it bounces off the support level and we can make a lot of money from that. Um, before we end this video, make sure that you guys go down to the comment section and, and comment what stocks are you looking to buy in the month of October. And if any of these stocks that you already own in your portfolio that I just talked about in this video. Um, don't forget to pick up your two free stocks from Weeble. Don't forget to pick up your guaranteed stock from Moomoo. Moo. Both of those links are going to be down in the description. Don't miss out on free money, guys. But um, other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show. And I'm out. Peace.